Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Seymour drop-down create. Now the Seymour can create a drop-down menu. And a drop-down is a menu that offers a list of options. The, current, the currently selected item in the list is always displayed. When the value item is selected or touched, other items from the list drop down into view and the operator can choose from these options. We will be creating a drop-down menu using a Seymour Micro HMI which is a human machine interface. And this could also be done with an EA7 or an EA9 Seymour HMI controllers. Now the EA3 T4CL will be communicating to a Click Plus PLC and a ladder logic program in the PLC will control the operation of this operator interface drop-down menu. Selecting a question on the drop-down will give an answer on the corresponding lookup table display. So detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So what is a drop-down? As we said before, a drop-down is, is a graphical control element that allows the operator to choose one value from a list. When a drop-down list is inactive, it displays a single value. When activated, it displays a list of values from which the operator may select one. Now drop downs can serve screen space. This is why we are demonstrating this on a Seymour Micro HMI. Since drop downs are common in computer systems, operators are familiar with the use of this type of menu. Options presented in the, uh, to the operator will only show legal choices. So you don't have to deal with erroneous data entered. So the first thing we'll do is take a look at our um, Click PLC software. And we will look at our setup and our COM port, and we'll see that our WAN and our setup on our um, Wi-Fi here is set for an IP address of 192.168.1.130. So that tells us where um, we're going to be connecting to on our click from our Seymour Micro. And we will just uh, close that. And then we can also look at point number, port number one, which is our ethernet port. And it's set for an address of 192.168.1.230. So that's where that's all set up. And that's where this communicate this uh, software is communicating to right now. So once we have our port set up, now let's go back to our uh, Seymour micro programming software. And we can go to setup and then under panel manager you will see that we have our uh, panel, which is an EA3 T4CL, which is the micro uh, Seymour line. And our communications is under the ethernet port. It's the DEV001. We select it. You can see that we have our automation direct click ethernet uh, protocol selected. And we have selected 192.168.1.130, which is pointing to our click plus um, Wi-Fi network. Is it okay? So that's all set up. And then what we'll look at is our database and our tag name database. So there's a few different parts to our uh, drop down menu. And you'll see that we have DS1, which is our selected value. Then we have DS10, which is our answer value or lookup value that we had before. Then we have our C1. Um, we're using for our visibility so we can hide uh, other elements on our uh, drop down. Then we have DS2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, which are the options that we have for um, our selection. Then we have C10, which is a drop down selection. And then we have a selected option. So this is like a push button that will have selection 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is our tag name database. Then if we look up our database, we have a message database. So under our message database, we can see we have a question and then we have at number 10, we have the answer. Then we have the following four different questions and we have the following four different answers for that, that message database. So the first thing we do is we take a look at our actual unit here. This is a lookup table. And we create this lookup table. And again, it's from DS1, which is tell us as our, 
our database and we can look at our data message database here. So that's all this one does. Now, if I'm going to send this to the back and you will see, I have a push button behind it and that push button is C10 and that's my drop down select. And it's a momentary uh, push button that I have on here. So we'll send that back to the back. And then we have uh, DS2, which is option one, all the way up to uh, DS5, which is option five. Under each of these, if I send this to the back, you will see that I also have a push button and I have push button, this is option number five. And if we look at the uh, different options here, we look at the actual database, option one is C2 to C6. So there are my uh, options that I have on here. Again, all momentary. Let's just send that to the back. And then we have our lookup over here. Oh, and by the way, our lookup, if we look at the option, we'll see the visibility here is set for C1, which is the drop down visible or not visible. And over here we have our other lookup for our answers, and that's actually coming from DS10. So that is our actual setup uh, that we have for our drop down menu on our Seymour Micro. Then if I look at the actual program of our click, what you'll see here is that when my drop down is selected, C10, then I set C1 on, which is my visibility. So when my visibility is on, I see all these other selections. Then when I have C2, which is the first option, it actually resets C1, so then it disappears again, and it puts one into my lookup question, and my lookup answer would be uh, option 10. I do the same thing with the second one. I select, I reset the visibility, and I set two and 11, uh, three and 12, four and 13, and finally five and 14. And then that's the end of my program. So that's my entire uh, program itself. So now let's take a look at the actual hardware that we have here. And when we look at the hardware, you will see that we have, here's our uh, Click Plus PLC, and this is our Seymour Micro. And this here is my program running, and we are communicating to our Wi-Fi network. And there's the antenna there. So the basic operation of our, um, our drop-down, we hit our question and we get our series of, of uh, options that here that become visible and we select which one we want. And then the corresponding answer comes over here as well as on here. Hit that again and we can go to say what's hex and it gives me my answer. So that is my simple drop-down. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video will be put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.